This is Dylan broadcasting live from GSM Exchange Trade Zone CB 2014. I'm here in the booth of Eurostar Global Electronics from UK with Mr. Brett Watmo. How are you, Mr. Brett? I'm good, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Now, on, let's build on this premise. Tell us a bit more about the very few people that don't know your company. Tell us a bit more about your company. Okay, we are an international mobile phone wholesaler based in England. Uh, we have physical stock, our own warehouse. Uh, we have our own technicians so we can configure phones with languages. We also do network operator stocks so we have unlocking, we do charger swaps. We look after How long have you been in this business? We've been trading as Eurostar Global since 2007. Okay. And uh, do you concentrate on any particular brands? Uh, what is your, let's say, immediate goal at the moment? What do you do? We look after all brands so we believe that there's a good variety of product out there and customers require it so we stock all brands fair prices make customers happy that sounds good um, if I if I have to single out one thing that happened and you consider it major within the industry for let's say year 2013 what would that be 2013 well, I think 2013 was a hard year with the global economic conditions um, certainly 2014 we're very optimistic we see growth in the marketplace already already yeah very good start to the year a lot of interest um, so I believe it's a good time to be in the mobile business. I think there's a lot of opportunity out there and we're here to help people grow their businesses. Very good. Well, would you say that, let's, let's put it, last year, would it say that, uh, that the prices were volatile, the currency fluctuations were affecting, or it was a combination of everything maybe? I think when you're on this business, you, you get used to those challenges. Um, we face them every day. everyday stuff. Right? Yeah, we face them every day. So you just have to get on with currency, um, work hard, and you will get the results. And you already said that the, posit the outlook is positive for this year. And if you, if I have to pick your brain and ask you what, uh, what would be the, the the main occurrence of this year in terms of our industry, what would that be? Do you think any problem with Samsung, with Apple, anything that can really challenge our year? I think we may see um, some of the other manufacturers gain ground. Um, I think there is mileage. Ask you about that. I think there is mileage in the Windows platform. Um, I believe that um, lots of users will actually be, once they adopt a Windows phone, they will be more familiar with it and I think they will be comfortable with that technology. There's higher acceptance towards the... Yeah, I think so. Um, and so perhaps the manufacturers have been strong the last few years, may, may not have the same market share sort of over the next 18 months or so. I can uh, share with you, I've seen uh, a lot of the so-called second-tier Chinese brands are actually becoming first-tier. And it's not, all, it's not only Huawei and ZTE, it's Lenovo. They had a really, really strong uh, last quarter. Would you, would you think they'll be a bit competitive for the big guys? I'm not over-familiar with Lenovo. Um, I certainly see growth in the Huawei. Um, and yeah, there is more acceptance of these brands now and, and there is demand for the product. We're getting asked for it a lot. And we know each other for a while, and that's not a secret. <laughs> uh, would you please share with me, or with us, uh, what's the experience being an exhibitor within the trade zone this year? Just give us a feedback. It's been fabulous. We've had a lot of traffic. We've met a lot of new people, and it's very good to meet old friends as well. Sometimes you've been dealing with somebody for a long time, and you get a little bit complacent. So It's, it's good to see the face. It's fantastic. Face. It's fantastic to sit down with old friends and, and sort of rekindle the relationship and have a better understanding again of, of what they're doing and where their business is now and how you can work together for each other's benefit. Would you say that CBIT is still the, the global event for this industry? Certainly for me, yeah. Um, obviously we're based in Europe, so coming to a European event perhaps has more relevance. Um, we're more familiar with sort of the product and the warranty issues and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of visitors come from all over the world. Uh, we've met people from, from everywhere and uh, that's, that's very good. Okay, and I cannot help but ask uh, my next question. If you have to single out one service or a feature that uh, proven to be the most beneficial by using GSM Exchange, what would that be? Talking to Dylan. Well, that, that's, that's an added value. <laughs> Give me a core feature. <laughs> I think um, it helps you sort of be accepted as, as part of the industry, as an established player in the industry. It, it uh, helps with your profile. It helps with your... Um, trading with other companies it gives people confidence that you're a known person within That's the very kind <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Thank you for the kind words. I promise we'll keep up the good uh, the good work. I think that's fair. Well, yeah. We, you know, we have to. In this industry, really, it's all about working together. We all have to help each other wherever we are in the world, whatever we're doing. Um, for me, it's about partnership. And if we work together, work in the same direction, we can all grow. Okay, sharing is caring. We can end on that premise. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you very much, Brett. This was Dylan from GSM Exchange Trade Zone, CBIT 2014. Thank you.